something that you can learn that is going to be incredibly helpful for when you are meeting someone for the first time. Business networking, even on a date, it doesn't matter. You can apply this in your life on every level. Let me ask you a question first. So while we're handing around the yellow, uh, just take a piece of paper off, put your name at the front, and write a big line down the middle of the cross, and then do a line across. So line down, and then a line horizontally. And I'll tell you what we're gonna do in a second. So raise your hand if you've ever been in a situation, whether you're at networking, or any type of public environment where you meet someone and you feel incredibly awkward. Like there is like, you can cut it in the air. There's like no rapport. If you use like, yeah, I know what you're talking about, Taz. It's just super awkward, right? And you don't know how to kind of get it grooving and going. And you're like, how am I gonna like mesh with this person? Because I feel like I don't have anything in common. I don't know how to talk to them. Has anyone ever been in that situation? All right, two people. So I guess all of you guys are pros. All right, well, for all you pros, you can all learn something as well, but this is gonna be something that you're gonna learn that's gonna really help you make a genuine connection with people. People do business with people like Lori always says, they know, like, and trust. She likes to add and remember. So unless you make that first lasting impression, someone's not gonna remember you. They're gonna go back into the file of the 200 business cards they already have and never speak to you again. You may be one of those business cards they put in that big pile and never speak to again. Why? It's not because they didn't like you, it's because they didn't know how to connect with you and they didn't feel any connection with you after the 20 people that they met. You were just number 18 and it just really didn't resonate with them, so you weren't that special. At the end of the day in business, if you don't make an impression with someone, you're not gonna be remembered and they're not gonna reach out to you. So on your piece of paper, I want you to write at the top left corner, you're gonna write the word, and I'm gonna teach you a concept, a lady named Danny Johnson, I learned in her seminar. So if any of you've heard of Danny Johnson, she's a worldwide speaker, she's phenomenal. I've gone to a lot of her seminars, and this is a personality thing that will help you so much. So top left corner, you're gonna write the word sapphire. Okay, so think of that green, beautiful gem. Next to it, on the other little square, you're gonna write the word pearl. Loves a pretty pearl, right? Down below, right below the pearl, you're going to write the word emerald. Yes, we're all talking about jewels today. Are we? Yes, right below. Square? So in the the yeah, bottom, yeah. Square, yes, the square below. Now to the adjacent left side, so the last square, you're going to write ruby. So it's four. So it's like a it's like a cross on your piece of paper. So the top left, you're gonna write sapphire. The top right, you're gonna write pearl. Top right bottom, you're gonna write ruby. And the top, or the bottom left, you're gonna write emerald. Okay, make sense? Yeah. Cool? All right. I think I got it backwards. Bottom right is what? Bottom right, actually, I'm it's just, emerald. It's bottom emerald, that's right, you guys are listening. Good, I was testing you, I like it. I, I do little things like that. I do little things like that to make sure y'all are listening. So bottom right is emerald, and then bottom left is ruby. Okay, everyone have that? Okay, so where it says sapphire, these are all gonna be personalities that we're describing here. This is the personalities, every box is someone that you currently know right now. And when you're actually gonna be aware of what these personalities look like from the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they walk, you're gonna be able to have so much instant report. They're gonna be like, wow, they're like reading my mind. How do they know me? It's because you have a skill set now that you are aware of how they are by the way they are already presenting themselves. So sapphire, and you're gonna start laughing in a second because you're gonna be thinking of that person that comes to your mind. This is what a sapphire is, and you're, I want you to jot down these, these little characteristics that I described to you now. A sapphire is a person that is the life of the party. They come in, hey guys, how are you doing? Oh my God, it's so good to see you. They express with their body. They cannot speak without their hands. Usually, <laughs> they're Italians or Irish people or very passionate people, but they make you feel so excited and happy because they just, they bring that extra energy to the room. They also love things that sparkle. So this beautiful lady shirt right here, <laughs> sparklies. They love sparklies because, and up her shirt too, because it's just the way we express ourselves. We got glory, got some fun little dazzling jewelry. It's a way that we express who we are and how we feel in the moment. 
These people are going to be your lifers, okay? When I say lifers, if they believe in you, they will be your cheerleader for life. So you want to have these people in your box in life because they will promote you like nobody's business. They will talk about you to the rooftops. These people are your natural free marketers, okay? They will market you for free, and they will market you with expression and passion, and people will believe them because they genuinely believe in what they're talking about, okay? The way this person dresses, as I said, they like to wear bright, fun colors. They love to wear fun, sparkly jewelry. They just love to have a good time. See, she got a little dazzling on you. See? Oh, I'm always a little dazzling. See, so that her nails, okay, show your nails. Perfect example. You see that? She has to have the sparkly. That is a way that makes her feel complete. Without that, she's like, I am not fully dressed today. You have to have the sparkles. That's just something about the stuff our personality. So now I want you to think about for one second, who is that person you can think of right now in your life? where this person describes what we just talked about in the Sapphire. They're super outgoing, they're very flamboyant how they dress, they're the life of the party. Everyone really, they're really, they know no stranger. They will talk to a tree. They are not afraid of talking <laughs> to strangers. Like they just love everyone. And they will talk about you every single day if they feel a genuine connection with you. So we're gonna talk about how to actually talk to a personality with this in a second, but I wanna get across the board. So, the next one we're going to talk about is the pearl. Now, the pearl personality is someone that's very quiet, they're timid, they're a little bit reserved, but they are like a warm blanket. They just make you feel so loved. No matter what, they are here for you any day, every time. Two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, they will answer their phone and listen to you. They are the best listeners. They are loyal, trusted friends. And people like to do friend business with people that they know, like, and trust. And remember, so you want to be a friend to someone first. These people are always going to be there for you no matter what. Now, in the way of how you would see someone, now we don't really have people that are dressed more normally like a pearl. A pearl are people that like to dress with very organic type clothing. So very loose sleeve. Um, very just flowy, very earthy, organic. They don't like to use any dyes or chemicals. They're very, just very healthy type people, okay? So maybe you can see kind of like a hippie look person. They kind of have all like the, the boho look. These people are just very laid back, but when you come across them very aggressive, they will close up like a shell. So they have to feel like it's a safe environment when you talk to them. You're gonna be able to tell in a second how a pearl talks, but the way you can see them with their personality is they're a little bit reserved, they're a little bit quieter, but they're very, they're listening to you, they're giving you your full attention. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the right corner, the bottom right, which is root, uh, emerald. Okay, so these are your engineers. These are your doctors. These are your research people. These are the black and white Everything has a purpose, everything has a place. <laughs> These people read directions from top to bottom. They follow the rules, because rules are made to be followed, not broken. They don't understand the sapphires, by the way. They're the <laughs> opposite. They're like, what are they doing? Like, they have no idea how these sapphires even came into this planet. They are so confused by them. <laughs> because these sapphires over here are so free-flowing. Emeralds are everything structured to the T. They normally like to wear blacks, whites, gray, neutral colors. If you go in their closet, that's all about you're gonna see. It's blacks, grays, neutral colors. They just see everything as functional and they don't really take too much time into the colors and it's just factual, get the job done. They will wear something until it literally just disintegrates because they believe in functionality. So they'll be wearing shoes for 20 years because hey, they work, so why would I throw them away? they kind of sometimes can be hoarders because they don't know how to get rid of things. So if you go in the house, you're like, why do you still have the 1988 clock in your house? It works, why would I throw it away? That's how they think. They, they like to be savers and resourceful, but some of the time they kind of add up clutter. But they are incredibly resourceful when it comes to data analyzing, facts, deadlines. They do not like people to be late. They're always early, so if you're late, it freaks them out. They're like, why are you late? I cannot understand, like they don't understand. So these people are great as leaders too because they can get all the boring analytics data type stuff that sometimes we don't always like to deal with. 
So last but not least is the ruby. Now the reason why I purposely put ruby as last is because the first will be last. Rubies like to be first. They like to be the best. They like to win at everything. They are incredibly, incredibly competitive. If they don't win, they are automatically first place loser. That's how they operate. They like to wear the best of the best. You will see them from head to toe, probably in Gucci or Prada. They like name brands, not just because they're materialistic, but they believe in high quality. If they travel, they're going to the five-star resorts. They're wearing everything looking the best because it's just the way they are. The buzzwords for them are the best, magnificent, factual, amazing. They just, they love to express themselves with something of the best. They automatically will look up everyone in the room and size everyone up because they want to be the best. They want to be the best. They want to be the smartest. They want to have the most money. They're just, that's how they're wired. Now, wrapping this up, now I'm going to go real quick and help you see, and I'm going to need a volunteer for this. So who wants to be a volunteer? Okay, I saw your hand up first. All right, so you come up here. All right, so come up. You, you have to come up. You volunteered. <laughs> Everyone give them a hand. Woo! Okay, so you're about to be 40 personality. So, yes. Yeah, That's going to be really awesome. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to have you, what's your name? Earl. Earl. Okay, everyone say hi, Earl. Hi, hi Earl. Okay, Earl. so Earl, so the first personality that we're going to pretend Earl is, is a sapphire personality. And I want you to think about the sapphires that were like the party, oh, they're okay. super expressive, they're like blah, 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 blah. So I want you to do your best version of what you would think that is, and I'm going to come over and talk to you, and we're going to talk sapphire lingo. Are you cool with that? Try. Okay, I like it. Okay, so count three. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Earl! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I know! Just you got your kids! Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Your kids are so big! Oh, I know. It's oh my gosh, it's amazing! She's making it a million miles an hour. Oh, oh my gosh, and how soon is it? How she doing? This is hard for me. You're doing fabulous. Now pause, pause real quick. Did you notice? What did Earl instantly do? Hug. That is exactly what a sapphire will do. This is too cordial. No, we're going all in, baby. We're going all in. That is how we <laughs> express, right? Okay, you did fabulous, by the way. Okay, now Pearl, we're gonna go to the next real quick. Pearl, remember, Pearl is quiet. Don't get in my personal, personal space. We're gonna be very cool by y'all in a moment, okay? All right. Three, one, two, three. Two minutes late. I apologize. How are you, Earl? Yeah, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. 
York. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. So are you local in this area? I am. I've got uh, three offices, uh, one in Nashville, one in Lebanon, one in Cookville. Uh, got a team in each one of those offices. Wow, that's in, that's that's incredible. So I, I, be, I bet with all of your team players that come in each offices, you're all about timing, precision, not being late, well, correct? You to, if you're going to manage that many people, you're going to have to have your ducks in order, and if they can't, it might not fit my team. Absolutely. And, and why is that important for you? Well, we have a lot of responsibility. So if you've got a lot of responsibility and you have so, just so many hours in a day, you've got to have to Absolutely. You've got to do what you've got to do, right? The time is money, right? You don't exactly. want to waste money. Exactly. I love it. Pause. Again, when you when I came up to him, did you notice how when he shook my hand, it even had a rhythm to it? Everything is structured and ordered and rhythmic. Because they even, when it comes to music, they love rock music. Why? Because rock has the same repetitive dun, 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 dun. We, They did this at the seminar, it was hilarious. They put on a rock song and they all stood up. They don't know how to dance, no offense, if you're a grandma, they, they just don't know how to, they're all, so they're getting up standing, they're like. <laughs> it was hilarious. But these people are about rhythm, structure, order. They don't like people to be late. They like everyone to be accountable to what they're doing. Okay, last but not least, we're going to do the Ruby. The Ruby is the go-getter, overachiever. I have to be first. I cannot lose. I am the best. Cool? All right. Sure. One, two, three. Hey, how are you? Hi, what's your name? <coughs> My name's Earl. What's your name? Earl Tess. Nice oh, to meet yeah. you. How long have you been doing this? I have been here for six years now. Yeah. Cool. How'd you get into yeah. this? You know, I've always had a passion to really help people with this little things in life that can really give them a huge lasting result when it comes oh, to their... Exactly you know, I do about, exactly the same thing. Yeah. I started this about five years ago, and it's really been a, a real change in my life. I've you know, been able to really achieve some great, great things with this company. Absolutely. I love that. Pause. What was he doing in the very beginning when we came up? Did you notice? Yeah, he was sizing. analyzing me. He was sizing me up. Okay, what am I dealing with? Okay, I'm a 10, so they're going to make sure I'm a 10 right away. Did you notice when he talked? He wasn't really listening. He was mowing over me. Now, this is what I do. Hear me over here. I do this. This is what I'm doing. He had to prove himself that he's better than me. It's, it's nothing personal. It's the way they're wired. So when you want to, and, and, and they don't mean wrong here, they mean well. They're just so wired to win. So the way you build actual rapport with them is you want them to think that they're the best. So you ask them the questions the whole time, which actually means that you're the one in control. And they will talk, talk, talk. They love talking about themselves. At the end of that conversation, they're gonna be like, wow, I really like this person. Even though you've had nothing to say, you ask them questions the whole time, but they gotta talk this whole, the whole time. And guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna like you. They're gonna wanna do business with you. They're gonna have that natural rapport with you. So early can go and sit back down. Thank you. Everyone give a applause So guys, in conclusion today, I know this was kind of a lot but different, but we all have these personalities in us. So later on today, I want you to look at these four different quadrants and see what is my top dominant, because we all have two top dominants. What's my top dominant and what's my secondary? And how do I use that in my relationships at home, with my spouse, with my children, with my coworkers? Because if you start really taking this to heart, you're gonna start noticing the people that you work with and you're around which one they are. And you're gonna learn how to kind of do the matching and mirroring. You're gonna learn how to speak their language. The more you learn how to speak someone's language, the more they're gonna to wanna to be around you, they're gonna to wanna to refer you, they're gonna to talk about you. They're gonna put you on the pedestal. So keep this in mind, it's really gonna be helpful for you. Thank you guys so much, all right?